Fox News, are they covering the fact that multiple members of their on-camera staff were texting the White House during the January 6th riots in the Capitol? Please, please tell the president to tell people to stop. Please, please. Are they reporting that? No, they are still very, very concerned about the plot surrounding their half a million dollar Christmas tree that was lit on fire. They're going to get to the bottom of this. Incidentally, the guy's been caught, and apparently he's just a guy who, who has some mental and emotional issues. Um, frankly... Has he been executed yet, though? Well, <laughs> we'll see. But frankly, I mean... I don't know how many mental and emotional issues you have to want to light a $500,000 tree on fire. Like I'm, I would be, I mean, I would be on favor of maybe pushing it over, but let's, uh, here is Steve, uh, excuse me, Peter Ducey, Steve's son, no nepotism there at the uh, white house press pool asking the really important questions. The big cities are dealing with these smash and grab robberies right now, an increase in criminal activity because some prosecutors are too soft on crime. Uh, I would say we have seen, I'm not going to attribute the reasoning from here. What I will tell you is we have seen an increase in crime over the course of the pandemic. There are a range of reasons for that. Um, and what we're f our focus is on is what we can do to address it. The president has proposed additional funding in the budget to make sure local police departments and cops have the funding they need. Uh, we have also worked directly with police departments in areas where they are seeing the highest impact of the crime, the retail theft, which theft, which we have great concern about. That's what our focus is on currently is action and doing what we can to make sure the funding is out there to the communities that need it the most. But I guess what good does it do if you're going to give police departments extra money if they arrest bad guys and they bring them to jail and then they're not prosecuted they're just right back out on the streets I, I think Peter what our focus is on is making sure that uh, the local uh, leaders the police officers and departments who know what they need for these communities have the assistance and the funding they need and that's what we're working around the clock on so, so the final one would be just in the last week uh, we saw a New York Post item about a pickpocket with more than 30 arrests back out on the street uh, we've seen an arsonist burn down a half a million dollar Christmas tree in New York City back out on the streets. Does the president think that that's good governing? Again, I think I've spoken to the president's concerns about retail theft. If you have specific and, and the actions we've taken for specific cases, I would point you to the local police departments or the Department of Justice. Go ahead, Kelly. Is it possible that Steve Ducey or Peter Ducey is not aware that these prosecutors have no association with the federal government whatsoever. Uh, I mean, even if the premise was correct, which it's not, the lighting of the Fox Christmas tree is not uh, a sign that there is more crime in the country. The fact of the matter is there is not more crime in the country. Yeah. There are some high profile thefts that were in San Francisco. That get a lot of play in media. Yeah, of course, because they're on video and it looks like a huge heist. It's like Ocean's 12, but with like Clorox and maybe some watches. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but this is sort of like, you know, this is, this is akin to the war on Christmas. This is, I mean, frankly, this is, um, it's very well done. If you were to listen to the narrative that has been created in the news you would think that inflation is crushing people but also but also the reason why inflation is crushing people is because of the child tax credit that's what joe manchin is saying the pro the the reason why we have inflation is because people have more money and therefore they're being crushed even though they have more money you would also believe that there are 
tens of thousands of people leaving their works because of the vaccine mandate. We have no military. I saw a headline today that 27 people in our Air Force, our Air Force, have been dismissed because they won't get vaccinated. 27. Not, not 2,700. Not 27,000. 27. And the other one would be that we're having this massive crime spree, as indicated by the fact that Fox News' Christmas tree got lit on fire. Yeah, I mean, I'll just say, like, with regards to the violent crime during a pandemic, that's not uh, uncharacteristic of pandemics. I was just, re uh, I like, early in the pandemic, I read Daniel Defoe's uh, Journal of the Plague Year. It's like 1700s or whatever. And they had a problem because they had to keep replacing the guards that were making sure people were staying in homes because uh, people kept killing them. <laughs> right? <laughs> we had, we're not quite at that level. But yeah, there's a certain inevitable when you're having basically parts of, of society somewhat break down because of a pandemic and support doesn't go to the people who need it the most first thing i heard like um the day that the checks were going out is i'm i don't i didn't file taxes i'm not going to get any of that stuff so like uh, huge parts of the economy aren't formal in that way and they're left out so like yep. of course there's going to be a rise in these sorts of um crimes of of like deprivation and you know serious pressure um we're going to take uh well, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk about some uh, sponsors that we have on the show, and then we're going to get into some of the stuff that's coming out about January 6th.